state program set down definite guidelines by which the Civil Service Commission, which is appointed by the council, will have to follow. They can't change the guidelines by just the vote of the commission the way they have been doing here in the past. They can't uh, abolish civil service positions and fill them by appointments. They can't abolish police positions and fill them with civilians. Under state civil service, if they abolish a position, well, then it no longer exists. And if it ever comes into being again, it has to be filled with a qualified police officer as it was in the past. And these are some of the main objectives that we are after. How many metropolitan cities in Texas are on the state program? All of your major cities in the state of Texas, with the exception of El Paso and Dallas, are now under state civil service. How soon do you expect to get something going? Uh, we'll have to wait until the firemen get their vote counted. I assume that uh, it will be probably next week sometime before we have the petitions ready and start circulating. What the maestro has done is to virtually drop a bombshell in the midst of the Dallas music community. He proposes taking this band shell at Fair Park and using five weeks in the summertime, giving three concerts a week. In order to do that, much of the band shell would have to be refurbished. Many places are in bad shape. He wants to put new seats in, and much of the wiring would have to be redone. At today's park board meeting, the board president, Dr. William Dean, told me he approves of the idea and thinks it can be done with the current operating budget. This afternoon, I asked the maestro what he'd do with a band shell like this. We're going to do the kind of music and performances that will be sheer entertainment for the summer. Uh, evenings of Rogers and Hammerstein, special guest artists. We're even talking about, <coughs> excuse me, Ray Price, who will be here with us this summer. In fact, I almost guarantee you he will be. That's the kind of thing we are going to present for the people for the summer. And I think they'll accept it. I hope so. What led you to come up with a band shell, uh, so to speak, out of the blue? Well, it's been here. It is here. Why can't we use it? Uh, this is a, a terrible waste. It has absolute marvelous parking facilities. You can't beat that. Uh, the beautiful scenery, if people would like to just lie on the grass and listen, they'll have that beautiful pond. Uh, it's here, it just needs remodeling. The maestro's vision of a pleasant summer evening at the concert bears no relation to the controversy washing around the State Fair Music Hall. A suit has been threatened against the city if councilmen decide to spend $5 million renovating the building on the theory that only 500000 was supposed to have been spent. Nevertheless, the Park Board feels that in about two weeks, they will recommend that the city spend the $5 million renovating the music hall. Phil Reynolds, Channel 8 News on the Move, in Fair Park. We uh, sent out letters about two weeks ago to all of the incorporated cities of the county and as of to date, we have heard from 17 out of the uh, some 35 communities, or about half. But the important thing is this uh, half that responded represented favorable replies from 16 communities representing 79 and a half percent of the incorporated population. You say this is the first time in Texas that a county-wide solid waste disposal plan has been devised. That's all in good, but what will it mean to Tarrant County? Well, it would mean that the county would be assuming some responsibilities which uh, were given them by the legislature in 69 and strengthened in uh, 1971. Uh, to me, it means that county government is coming of age and assuming leadership in an urbanized community. I think that there, may, there could be some arguments persuasively made for some kind of federal involvement in this area. I don't think we've fought our way through as a commission yet whether those arguments are compelling. And I think uh, there are members of this commission who are uh, of different opinions about federal action. I do not foresee uh, significant interest among this commission in a, certainly in a complete federal takeover. I think the more likely possible role for the federal government would be the, uh, in the form of some federal minimum standards which states might have to meet uh, in operating their workman's compensation program.
how does North American Rockwell feel about him having replaced him with you? Well, again, now, uh, one thing I probably should make clear is that, uh, that my role here is President and Chief Executive Officer Collins. And really, I'm not North American Rockwell. So when you ask for an expression of North American Rockwell, uh, you're, re you're really talking to the wrong person. Let me say this, that, uh, that uh, North American Rockwell people have continuously expressed their admiration for Mr. Collins and the tremendous things that he's done. So I don't think that there's any question uh, but that they have a very high regard for him. But do they feel he's outlived his usefulness? Well, here again, uh, you're asking for a little speculation on my part. Collins Radio has been undergoing a great deal of financial difficulty in the last few years, particularly as regards government contracts. Do you intend to turn that around? Would you repeat that? Collins Radio has been having difficulty in the stock market recently, not only with its price, but with uh, as a result of the government contracts coming its way. Do you intend to reverse that trend? That's at least two questions or two comments or observations, Yes, sir. I guess, at the same time. There's no question the stock has fallen off, point number one. And uh, certainly, it's our intention to reverse that. And uh, I think that, uh, that the company is, uh, is basically a sound company. It's a leader in a good many markets. Uh, it's got outstanding uh, reputation with its customers. I think it has many of the fundamentals. It has outstanding people, uh, great technology. It has many of the fundamentals required uh, for, for a substantially better view of it than the present stock price would indicate. Well, I think we'll have to deal with that on a case-by-case -case basis. I haven't seen too many cases where a reasonable allocation can't be reached. Uh, the laws themselves leave a great deal of flexibility. I don't think the laws are ever intended to close down an industry. By the same token, I don't think the laws were intended to allow an industry to pollute with impunity. Uh, we simply have to look at all of the facts and deal in factual information. This is perhaps the greatest gap in the environmental management program and the enforcement of the laws is a strong basis of factual information. What is the major problem with, uh, that we're having uh, solving our pollution problems? Is it a matter of economics or science and technology? Well, the science and technology exist uh, for part of the cleanup. I don't think enough exists for the pristine environment that a lot of people feel that they want. But I also don't think that they've looked at the cost figures for achieving that. The strongest statements yet to come from the Dallas Police Department concerning organized crime in the Dallas area were made today. The forum was the Greater Dallas Crime Commission annual meeting here at the Statler Hilton Hotel. The speaker was Assistant Chief of Police Paul McCarran. We have had gang killings, mob killings in this city. We've had five in the past six months. There's been very little publicity about this. This past week, a man by the name of Johnny Carello was killed. Johnny was trying to take over the heroin market in East Dallas. We have two people in the hospital that are shot up. And this is where it affects you and I. This is where it really hurts the community. Let me skip around and say, that this money that's brought in by organized crime must be invested. It gives the racketeer a legitimate front. It gives him respectability, something that he really desires. Chief McCarran said that organized crime needs to make its illegitimate money legitimate. He gave as an example in Dallas, Ussery Industries, which recently was in bankruptcy court. He said that first it was used to make the illegitimate money legitimate, and then that was used as seed money to make three million more dollars by selling false franchises. And the police department tried to do something about it while this was going on, but was unable to until the attorney general's office finally came into the picture. Also on the program today, Chairman John McKee of the Crime Commission 
repeated statements calling for protection of the citizens' rights instead of protection of the criminals' rights. He said that there is also a need for updating the penitentiary systems so that we don't have two-thirds of the crimes being committed by those who have already been in prison once or more times. McKee also said that we do need penal reform, but not the type of penal reform that was proposed in the last session of the Texas legislature. This is Roger McDonald, Channel 8 News on the Move at the Statler Hilton Hotel. Now that I have formulated my plan and organization and visited with many friends and neighbors in every section of the district, I am pleased to announce that I am a candidate for senator from the 9th Senatorial District. I look forward to next year's Democratic primary with enthusiasm and confidence. Shelly, what's this new device? This uh, new device is an electron, uh, ele electronic, not gadget, a device that is run on two batteries, and it's a very complicated machine. It works extremely well, and it will go, I'm sure, very successfully in parts of the country where the caddy yard is thin. Is it an expensive machine? Yes, uh, it's not absorbent, but it is, uh, uh, it retails at $700. $695, I think, is the retail price, Jerry. What role will it play, do you feel, uh, in the private club and also the public courses? Well, it, it plays the role of uh, the man who, who likes to walk, and the caddy situation is not there. Uh, it will never take the place of a good caddy, but if there's lack of caddies or the caddies aren't efficient enough, it will take their place. What else can happen to the game of golf besides something like this? Well, uh, this is, a, in a way, a good breakthrough because it does afford those people who uh, cannot get caddies the opportunity to, uh, to exercise their limbs and stay in good health longer. It's a wonderful thing to have. It's, uh, it's, it's very, very fine, very healthy machine to, uh, to be spread around the country. Will it handle itself fairly well in the rough? Oh yes, it goes uh, just as well. It goes at about four miles an hour, which is uh, normal speed. You, uh, you can run away from it if you run real quickly or fast, and, uh, but it automatically locks its wheel immedi uh, immediately as soon as you get out of its range. It works just like radar, and uh, you have to be in this range for it to operate, but it'll follow you with that little control box. Wherever it goes, it goes right along with it. And then, too, there are those uh, golfers who seek solitude on the course, and they can have it with this, can't they? You don't get any back talk out of it. Well, Judy, uh, originally, the mace was a weapon. It uh, was developed during uh, feudal times as a weapon to be used by bishops and other members of the clergy so they could uh, conform to canon law, which prohibited them from spilling blood. So is that how it got connected with college presidents? No, not really. <laughs> uh, I don't think. Uh, in due time, it was a long process of evolution. Uh, the mace uh, was transformed from a, a weapon of war to a symbol of authority. I understand that this mace was pretty much of a family project here at North Texas. Exactly who contributed to this? It was designed by members of the art department. Uh, the woodwork was done by uh, people in industrial arts. Uh, someone in the music department who makes uh, musical instruments provided the silver tubing. Uh, now there's a silver eagle. Oh, oh you have it. Yes, this will be mounted on top. That was made by uh, uh, members of the art department. There will also be a silver star on the other end. Now, what are the flat places for? Uh, there are six of those flat uh, surfaces, and uh, in due time, uh, there will be embedded in each of five of those a silver quarter of a date which is uh, significant uh, to the history of North Texas State University.
I did not experience any influence in the Rules Committee by Mr. Muncher. Uh, not one time did he ever come to me and ask me to do anything in the Rules Committee. As a matter of fact, the rules of the House pretty well predicate what we do in the Rules Committee. Uh, the rules state that we must assign a bill to a calendar within seven days after it reaches us. Uh, nothing you can do about that. It's there.
While I am disappointed with the results of the poll conducted by the Dallas Police Association, you must bear in mind that there was a great deal of confusion about the issue involved. Nevertheless, the two-to-one vote is an indication that the majority of sworn personnel in this department feel that improvements are needed in the area of personnel management. Quoting further from Chief Dyson's statement, I will be looking very closely at this matter in the days ahead with the intent of doing whatever is necessary to assure the greatest job satisfaction for the members of this department.